from DPV. I'm Josh and today we're working on the Impala ghetto glider trying to finish up this rear end. So got the gears all set up um, so I'll link that video right up here if you're interested in setting up a 12 bolt. Uh, but the last thing we got to do on this rear axle is redo the brakes and you know I'd love to swap the disc some, someday but we're gonna have to uh, run the drums and they need, they need some fixing up here. So it's been a bit since I've, uh, you know, done a set of drum brakes, but this should be one of the easiest I've ever done because it's right here on the bench. But anyway, the goal for today, I just have a couple hours, is to just break this down um, and then get these uh, backing plates all cleaned up, get them painted. And then we'll be back at it in a couple days to reinstall all the new hardware and whatnot. So uh, let's get after it. So when you're doing drum brakes, you're gonna wanna pick yourself up one of these tools. Um, I don't know what it's called, but I'll put it in the description below when I find out. Anyway, these are for taking out the little uh, clips that hold on to the brake shoes. And you can do it without one of these, but it's way, way easier to do it with this tool. So basically there's this spring there and you gotta depress it and kind of, this has some grippies in there. They grip onto this little washer. You can see that little flat piece, it's got a slot to go in. You gotta push down and turn it like a quarter turn and then it'll, it will release. You can do it with a screwdriver, but it sucks. This is a much better way to go. There we go. Don't get a new star adjuster, so I'm gonna throw this and the parts cleaner. Oh, I'm glad I'm replacing these. So all the connections to the brake lines and the bleeder and all that will also be replaced with this. I couldn't remember exactly how that worked, but this is the wheel cylinder. Basically it pushes out the shoes against the brake drum. I'm gonna take a picture of this one so I can remember how this all goes back together. Then we'll bust this one apart. Then these can be cleaned up and we'll throw it back together.
cleaned up, got the back side all painted, got the backing plates bolted on, and so now we're gonna work on getting these wheel cylinders bolted in. And I got a couple helpers today, so they might be doing a little bit of their own project yeah. or helping me out on the brakes. But uh, anyway. Well, I can help you do this. Mm-hmm. I have so, no idea how to do the wire. I got the uh, threads all cleaned up on the bolts. The new wheel cylinders don't come with new bolts. So yeah, I had to clean these up. Alright, got the wheel cylinders in, but the new wheel cylinders do not come with these little guys. I'm not sure what they're called, but anyway, pulled these guys out of the old ones and then kind of sanded the rust off. And those will just pop in there. Hopefully. Might just barely stick in there when those are pumped up, I'm not sure. Might have to pop them in while I put the brake shoes on. Don't quite remember, but uh, we'll get that figured out. So I think we're ready to start assembling brake shoes and all the uh, hardware and whatnot. All right, I took a picture before I tore it all apart so I could try to remember where everything goes. But uh, basically, looks like these shoes are mirror images of each other, so that's good. Um, and I got all the old parts kind of in place. Now I'm going to uh, find the replacement springs and set them where they all go. And then we'll start dropping them into position. since I've done this, but so far I just got the shoes on with these little springs and I'm gonna try to jam in like star adjuster and um, get the other springs on. I think this is the easiest way to do it. I will find out here in just a minute. What do you think? Okay. Good. Oh, we fixed the radio. It's not a radio, oh. what is it? I'm trying to talk to Marth. All right. I decided that top springs are easier to put on first. And now we'll get this star adjuster put in there and probably just collapse it down and then uh, hook up this last green spring here. You delivered, you, you oh, thank this? you. Yep, that's exactly what I needed. Just thank in time. You. Careful with the camera. You're welcome. Every time. Every time. All right, this side, I believe, is all buttoned up. So, um, yeah, we can slide these axle shafts in. And uh, 
be good to go. So I'm gonna get the other side and then hopefully uh, we can get this axle slid under the car today. All right, you may have noticed in the last clip that uh, I had this thing on the wrong side. I totally put the emergency brake hardware on the wrong side. So I've had the chance to do this a few times. Um, now this side's all fixed up. Um, and I figured out what I think is the easiest way to do it is to actually kind of assemble the brake shoes like this. Get that lower spring in with the star adjuster. Get your little uh, spacer in here for the emergency brake. And then pop the whole assembly in and it's much easier. All right, got this side done up as well. The other thing you need to pay attention to and uh, ask me how I know, I got to do this yet again, the star adjuster, it doesn't matter what side they come on. So if you didn't, you know, pay attention and your parts are just laying on the bench, you wanna make sure that you get them on the correct side. So basically one of them is reverse thread and when this thing adjusts this way, and clicks against this guy, um, you want it to be adjusting out. And basically what that does is as you use your brakes and the uh, brake shoes get worn and the drums get worn, this keeps it you know, closer to the uh, contact of the drum. That way you don't have like a dead spot in your brakes. So um, every time that goes out, this thing is gonna push the screw down and then it can't back up because it's up against that. So you want, as this thing rotates this way, you want it to be going out. trip with the new gears so basically today I'm gonna to try to drive like 10 miles rest for a few minutes drive 10 miles rest for you for a few minutes till we hit 50 miles and then that should be good and uh, under power tour starts today so hopefully everything is good hopefully there's no weird noises and uh, we'll be able to get packed up ready for this trip so far so good I don't hear anything weird, so that's great. Um, 80 is the new 60. So definitely gonna have to get a little, a new uh, Speedo gear or whatever. Um, but uh, for this trip, I'll just know that 80 to 60. I'm excited after this 50 miles is done, I can like get on it a little bit and see how much more pep we've got, so. Gosh, so far, success. So, I'm gonna go get some gas, top this sucker off, and then uh, we'll make our way back home. That'll be the first, you know, 18 miles or so. All right, just about back home. Topped off the tank. So far, everything seems to be good. So, I'm gonna go change, and then uh, we'll head back into town, um, and give this thing a bath. So, uh, We'll be looking a little better on the, you know, underpowered tour. So, I always love driving this thing. Gosh, it's just so fun to drive. Um, it's got its quirks, but it is a fun car. So, anyway, I'm gonna put a few more miles on her, and then uh, 
get this thing cleaned up. All right, inaugural trip with the new gears. Great, no gear noise at all. Um, the diffy feels a little hot, but I can still put my hand on it, so it's not like super hot. And I looked it up, and the temperature can be 250 to 275. Um, when you're breaking in the gears, that's kind of normal. So uh, I'm not going to worry about that But I'm going to try to take frequent breaks on the underpower tour to let that thing cool off a little bit Really wanted to give you guys a nice smoky burnout, but uh, I really don't want to push it with the gears I, I mean most things I've read is 500 miles for break in There's some people say you can do it in 50 but most sources including the paperwork that came with the gears say 500 miles so i don't want to do one burnout and break something when i can wait and do multiple burnouts so we're gonna hold off on the burnouts but uh yeah ghetto gliders back on the road so excited heading out on the underpower tour today so time to get packed up go and support the channel we got merch on teespring link in the description below you can shop on amazon via any of the links down in the description last but not least just like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching wheel it wreck it wrench it repeat see you next time